Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at which Tesla is best for you to purchase. Now obviously there's a lot of Teslas, there's basically four. But before we get started, please be sure to be, well, make sure, yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and more different types of videos during the week. Now I do have every model on here on my iPad to, to go through the specs, well, main specs and price. And basically classifying which or what, what category will be best suited for but i will display them here so the first model is the model s now this is a very nice vehicle and i'm going to say the potential savings price instead of the actual purchase price but with potential uh, potential savings you can see about seventy-seven thousand dollars or almost seventy-eight thousand dollars you get a range of about five, oh, yeah, 400 or well, 405 miles with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. And the speed is obviously quite good 3.1 seconds in zero, oh, oh, yeah, 3.1 seconds for zero to 60, which is very good. But now there's obviously the plaid version, which is more sportier and has a nice design, but it does cut basically around about 20 miles off the range. But this is basically more suited for people that like speed because it is a very fast car. And so, so decent enough to have some friends in it and go for a little drive because obviously the long range is quite, you know, has a good distance. Now we have the Model 3, which is not really popular, I'll say, but with stamp um, range plus, it's about $34,000. With the long range is $44,000 and then the performance is $51. This is still potential savings there. It's not the um, purchase price, but it's potential savings. The range is not too bad. It's about 263 miles with a speed of 140 miles per hour. And it can do zero to 60 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds. Obviously it does have the performance that so could be, well, it'll cut around about I'll say 20 miles per hour or miles from the range, but a long range should probably adds quite a, I think goes up to like 300 miles with long range. So I'll say this car is mostly suited for city drive. So if you are someone that doesn't really go on long journeys or long trips, this is more suited for you if you want to just have a simple vehicle to go around town, go to the shops, go to some friends' houses. It's perfect for that. Next we have the Model X, which is probably the best option depending on who you are. So um, with long range, it's $88,000 with potential savings. Plaid version with potential savings is about $113,000, so it's very expensive. The range is not too bad though. 360 miles with one charge with a top speed of 149 miles per hour with the long range and it goes from zero, or 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Now obviously Plaid does cut out about 20 miles for every model but this is more for family use obviously because you can have about seven seats which is quite good especially if you have a big family or you have kids that want to have friends over and you have to take them somewhere it's very good. And obviously, it does have the performance, so it's still quite an interesting car. And then the final model is the Model Y. Now, the purchase for long range is about $48,000 or potential savings, but it does go up to $53,000 without potential savings. Performance version is about $55,000, so it's about $3,000, well, yeah, no, $2,000, I mean from the actual price. The range is 326 miles on one charge and the top speed is about 135, 000, uh, 135 miles per hour. The top speed of oh, the 0 to 60 is in about 4.8 seconds. Obviously this is more of a family in town car. The Model X is basically closest family car but this is for I guess smaller families or just someone that wants a bigger car for 
taking big items to different places. So this is more of your daily commute um, for heavy duty, well not heavy duty, but it allows you to carry more things than the other things. So, but I think the best option for anyone to go for is probably the Model S because obviously it has the speed, it's more sporty looking. And I mean, the plaid version is very beautiful with the looks. I like the accents it has on the handles, the interior is quite good. So it's quite good. Obviously, if you are someone that's interested in the autopilot, that is about $10,000 extra. But obviously, if you are going to use it, then go for it. But that's all I have to say. Um, that's how the ranking I did for the cars. So basically, if you are wanting to get a Tesla, um, just um, listen to what I said in the video to see which one is probably the best for you. Obviously, the Model 3 and the Model Y is probably the cheaper options to go for. But if you do want that speed, Model S is probably the best. But if you are wanting to get a family car, Model X is probably the best to go for. But otherwise, that's all I have to really say for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Comment down below what you want to see next. And tomorrow's video is going to be talking about the M1 Mac Mini with an unboxing and a review. So be sure to subscribe to that. Well, subscribe to the channel to see that. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next video. And yeah, see you guys. Bye.